For comic book Tuesday today, we are reading Benjamin Bear in Bright Ideas. Let's go! Tree top. The first one to the top of the tree wins. Okay. Woo. They're climbing up. I won, says the bear. No, I did. <laughs> Good catch. I bet you can bring me a screw. So now the bear is looking for a squirrel. He sees one. He chases it. It goes up the tree. It won't come down. <laughs> so he brings the tree to the rabbit. Sharing. It's my ball. No, it's my ball. No, it's mine. No, mine. Uh-oh. They're fighting. The ball hits the bear. Ooh, the bear is angry. The bear asks, whose ball is this? And they both say, it is. No, it is. Seesaw. Benjamin, help me carry this trunk. Ooh. So now he's helping him carry. Instead of holding it, he's pushing it down. And now he's sitting on it. Thank you. <laughs> Crossing. The rabbit is jumping over the river and the bear says, I'll make him a bridge. So now the bear makes the rabbit a bridge, but the rabbit still jumps over the bridge like he did before. Ha <laughs> ha. Can I get a ride? So now the first animal asks for a lift and then he puts him on his head. The second one asks for a ride as well. He puts him on his shoulder and now there's one more one more than the final bunny and now they're all carrying the bear haha <laughs> the ladder where are you going to the desert but why the ladder in case i get lost hmm what does he mean so now he's in the desert he might be lost he's asking i wonder where i am and so he climbs up the ladder and sees where he is from the top high wire I bet you can cross this wire. Yes, I can. Ooh, this will be tricky. So now the bear is on the wire. And as he crosses, he sinks into the water so the water can take his weight. Very good. Like a fish to water. Let's go to your house. So now the bear takes the fish. The bear puts the fish in the water. Then he puts the tank in his head. And now they both swim in the water. Very good. Keep going. So here the rabbit is riding the bear and putting the fish in front of him to follow. And then when they arrive, he says, stop, we're there. And then the fish lands in the bear's mouth. Very nice. Follow the leader. It's hard to keep these sheep together, says the bear as he's running around the sheep. But he has an idea. He's putting on some sheep clothes and now everyone is following him like the leader. Very nice. Hot and cold. I'm too hot, says the sheep because he has a lot of wool. So now the bear is nice enough to shear the wool off. So he says, thank you. But now he's got no more clothes. He's saying, but now I'll be cold. So what does the bear do? The bear has to use his own wool to knit him a jumper. Ha <laughs> ha. Bring cleaning. What are you doing? I'm getting rid of my fleas. So the bear is tying himself to the tree. Then he's running very fast and he gets stopped by the rope and the fleas fall off. Ha <laughs> ha. Stay close. Let's tie ourselves together so that I don't lose you. So now they tie each other together with a rope and then they're running and jumping around and uh-oh, they got stuck with all these trees and now they can't get back together. Haha. <laughs> something out of nothing. It's impossible to make something out of nothing. One thing yes, but two things no. What does the bear mean by that? So then they go running, they're at the field and the bear says, look, here's nothing. He goes to dig a hole and then he says, and now there are two things. There's a hole and there's some dirt. It's raining. So here there are three baby bears on top of the big Benjamin bear. And now, uh-oh, it starts to rain. So what do they do? 
Ooh, they go under the bear now instead of on top of the bear. Portrait. Let me draw your portrait, says the bunny. So now the bunny is drawing the bear on the tree. He's drawing the bear around the tree. And then he says, I'm done. So let's have a look at the portrait. Ooh, from one angle, the head is right next to the bum like he's smelling it. <laughs> a good night's sleep. Oh good, I can sleep here, says the bear. He sees the hammock. But look, he sleeps under the hammock, not on the hammock. I wonder why. So now it gets dark. Ooh. And the hammock is collecting all the leaves, making a shelter for him. That's a bright idea. Two for one. It's snowing, says the bear. We'll need houses, says his friend. He, I made one. That's a nice wooden house. So now his friend says, but what about me? So he says, one for you. And what does he do? Ooh, he takes the wooden house out. And now he says, and one for me. So now there are two houses. That's another bright idea. The house. The bunny is saying, I dream of a house in the middle of the woods. I can help, says the bear. And now he takes down one tree and starts building a house. Come look, he says. He's finished. Ooh, he's taking all the trees around and built the house. But now the house is no longer in the middle of the woods. Ha <laughs> ha. Please take this letter to the rabbit, says the bear to the eagle. I want to know what he'll say. So now the eagle is flying away with the mail. Oh good, here's the reply. Now the bird is flying back. But the bird has brought the rabbit back so that the bear can ask him personally. Ha <laughs> ha. Ring leader. Ooh, there's a UFO coming from the sky. And then some aliens walk around saying, Hello, we come from Saturn. Ooh, and then the bear asks, Take me to your leader. And then, ooh, this man says, Hello, but he's got the ring on top of his head like a halo. Reflection. Ooh, the bear finds a mirror in the middle of the forest. So now he's very curious. He's looking at the mirror, he's looking at his back, he's looking at his bottom, he's turning around and the rabbit comes and says, you are only interested in yourself. And the bear says, not at all, I'm trying to see what you see. That's funny, right? Because the bear doesn't know what he looks like if there's no mirror. A gift for you. Ooh, the rabbit has a very big present for the bear. For you, he says. Thank you, says the bear. For you, says the bear, with a little present for the rabbit. Thank you, says the rabbit. Hmm, I wonder what's inside. Ooh, now they're both complaining. The rabbit says, this is all he got me? It's all small. And then the bear is saying, this is way too much. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, it's the same present. Haha, <laughs> they both have t-shirts. Bird watching. How do birds feed their babies? Asks the dog. The bear says, Look here, you can see the whole story. Oh, now this is funny. Is this a window or are they paintings? But you can see that the bird is hunting for insects to then bring back to the nest to feed the birds. And this is the final comic strip. Too smart for his own good. Two rocks are all I need to cross this river, says the bear. He puts them both in the river and then he steps on it. He takes the one behind to throw in front and takes another step. And he just keeps doing this using the two rocks, keep throwing it in front until, uh oh, he's too deep. And the second rock is now under the water and he's stuck on just one rock with nowhere to go. Now it's your turn. What do you think about Benjamin Bear and all his bright ideas? Let me know down below and also share with me which one you think was his best idea. Take some time to think about it and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.